Hello everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness, and today I will be talking with you all about the Gironda Barbell 1 4th Roll Up. So this is a very interesting exercise. Essentially, it is a version of crunch that Vince Gironda did as a building exercise to build up the abdominals. And as you can see here on the right, this is Steve Davis. Now Steve Davis was a wonderful bodybuilder during the 1970s, and he actually began training at Vince's gym at the age of 16. What's interesting about him as well, and this doesn't get brought up much anymore, but he went on a nine-month bulk where he gained almost 100 pounds and bulked up to 285 pounds. Now, after this, he had decided to lose the weight, of course, uh, because he was getting back into bodybuilding, and he went on a fairly unhealthy diet, but managed to lose almost 100 pounds and eventually won the IFBB Mr. World competition, which is unbelievable. But I wanted to show his photo here because you can really see his deeply etched abdominals. And he's one of the most amazing of Vince's students because he took everything Vince said quite literally. And he got extremely lean. Of course, he had the Adonis style body. He wasn't the biggest guy, but he never sacrificed his conditioning or shape for size which is very commendable, something you don't see at all anymore. And another thing about him is he is a fantastic author. Now, people don't talk about his books very much, but he's written books like Total Muscularity, Raw Muscularity, and numerous other books that are fantastic reads that actually you can purchase on Amazon. I'm actually going to drop a link, and I'm not getting sponsored or paid for this at all. I just really love his books. So I'll drop a link in the description if you want to purchase any of his books, and I highly recommend them. The one I really enjoy is Total Muscularity. It's a great read and gives you insight onto what he exercises he did, how he approached training, how he approached diet. He's a very intelligent man, as most of these guys were. The common misconception is they were all muscle heads, but they were really intelligent. And Steve Davis was no exception. So in this video, I'll actually explain this exercise exercise to you, the Gironda Barbell 1 4th Roll-Up. And I will demonstrate it for you and, of course, explain it to you. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Now, as far as I know, I have never seen the Gironda Barbell 1 4th Roll-Up displayed and explained on YouTube or on Google. So I'm sure many of you all are wondering how you perform it and why you would ever want to utilize it. Well, let me start off at the beginning. Vince Gironda believed that the classic sit-up was a useless exercise. Now, there's a common misconception that Vince Gironda also thought that the squat was a useless exercise, or that he wouldn't ever implement squats. Well, that is incorrect. Depending on the individual, in particular, in particular for women, he would definitely incorporate the squats to help build up the gluteus maximus because that was the aesthetic look for women at the time. But in this case, he never, never implemented the classic sit-up because he believed it would hurt the spine, it was uncomfortable, and it really didn't do much for the abs. Instead, he would prioritize doing crunches and crunch variations, which this exercise is, of course, a crunch variation. An interesting thing about this exercise in particular is it relies on relatively low reps and high weight, so you're using heavy poundage. Now what that means is when you do standard crunches, some people can do two, three hundred at a time. Well, in this exercise, you increase the poundage and do maybe eight, ten, twelve reps. So to start this exercise, you want to perform a clean and bring the barbell to your shoulders. Then you will lay back on the edge of a supine bench. That's just your traditional flat bench. And one thing to note is before, before performing the movement, you want to ensure that your feet are flat on the floor. Why I bring this up is the majority of Vince Gironda exercises that are done on a supine bench or a flat bench, he mentions that you want to elevate your feet so you can isolate a certain muscle group. Well, on this one, because you're lifting the shoulders up, you need to have that other connection point. So in this case, you're using your feet as a connection point to the ground to help stabilize you. To perform this lift, once you're lying flat on the bench, once you sit back, you will roll your head and shoulders until your abs are flexed fully and you'll feel it where you really can't crunch up anymore. You have to make sure that throughout the entire lift, 
you keep the barbell in contact with your upper chest shelf slash your front deltoid. So essentially that barbell will be in line with that upper chest dip, that little line right there, that, that crevasse. And that's the same place where you would typically do a neck press, a Gironda neck press. So that's where the barbell is sitting. You do not want to press the barbell off your chest when you're doing the crunch. Now that'll be a your body will want to do that. It will be natural that you will want to slightly press it up so that you can do your crunch. Don't do that because you want that weight to be on your body to make it more difficult. You want to intentionally make the exercise more difficult. At the very top as well, you want to intentionally cramp the abs. You want to cramp the rectus abdominis muscles, those, those six pack muscles, you want to cramp them. And the way I do this, is when I get to the top, I pause and I intentionally kind of force myself forward just to maybe a couple centimeters more and crunch up. And that's how I get that that uh, intentional cramping of the abdominal muscles. And you really feel it. It's a deep, deep pain throughout your entire rectus abdominis region. And it feels quite nice. It's much different from your standard crunches. And one thing that Vince Gironda mentions is you should not be afraid to go heavy on this and that your abs are stronger than you think. He mentions that many bodybuilders are under the impression that their abs are weak, but they are really not. They are incredibly strong and underutilized, so you can use quite heavy poundage. In this demonstration, I'm only using about 55 pounds, but I typically go up to 70 or 80 pounds, and some guys that some guys at Vince's gym would use 135 pounds and up. So it really depends on the individual. And actually, that brings me to my next point. I got this exercise from the 108615 booklet on NSP's website. The link is in the description of this video if you want to check it out. Plenty of amazing exercises in that booklet. A uh, whole routine is in there, a diet protocol, a supplement protocol. Great booklet. It only costs $15 for a physical copy and $10 for a digital copy, I think. Well worth it. Uh, get both, <laughs> you know, so you can, you know, print off some for, for yourself to have around the house or whatever. Uh, that's what I do. I, I have a couple copies of it for myself, depending on where I am, if I'm working out at home or taking it to the gym. It's an incredible little booklet. And like I mentioned, if you're interested, check the link in the description. One more tip that Vince Gironda mentions is only proper diet and nutrition can reduce body fat, not exercise. Now, why is this important? It is important because so many people think the more that they work their abs, the more likely a six pack is to show or the more prominent it will show. That is not the case. The only way that you're really gonna get abs is reduced calories and proper nutrition, and then your abs will inevitably show. And Vince Gironda makes this a point, and we all know this now, but at the time, it wasn't so much of a common thing. You have to think Vince Gironda was very much ahead of his time. So that pretty much covers the Gironda Barbell 1 4th roll-up. In the next slide, I will actually demonstrate it for you and explain it a little bit more in detail, and you'll be able to actually see it. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, so I have cleaned the barbell to my shoulders. I have gotten the proper position on the edge of a bench. I've leaned back and laid on the bench. Let me, there you go, adjusted the barbell. And I am doing a partial crunch, one fourth of the normal range of motion of a standard crunch. And I am flexing my shoulders and head upwards and really cramping the abs. So the range of motion is fairly small, but the incredible feeling you get throughout your entire abdominal region is is insane. It is incredible. It's one of my favorite abdominal exercises because you don't need many reps. You can instead increase the poundage so you can almost use it like a power building movement for your abs. And that's really cool. And there's really not much more to go over here. It's a pretty simple exercise to actually do. You might get some stairs at a standard gym, but if you tell people to try it out, I'm sure they will feel the effect. And it was one of Vince Gironda's special abdominal exercises to really build a, building thicker abdominals in your rectus abdominis region, so not the side, in the front, so you get a more prominent six-pack. Another thing, though, you have to remember that just because you do this exercise and maybe you do it with a lot of weight doesn't mean you'll have abs. You have to actually be lean enough to see your abs. I am currently in a cut right now, but I am not quite lean enough to really see my abs too well. And I'm, you know, that's an admitted thing. 
I wouldn't incorporate this exercise anymore to see my abs. I would instead diet properly. And that's what I recommend to all of you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. This exercise really has been forgotten and there's not much on it online. If I hadn't read uh, the 10 8 6 15 routine and Unleashing the Wild Physique, I really wouldn't have known anything about it. But if you have any questions regarding it, just let me know in the comment section. And until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.